that represents anywhere from a 79 to 86 percent decrease from all right welcome to talking investing i am tom this is not financial advice we are here to talk about all things investing and today i want to talk to you about a company called support Dot com stock ticker SPRT. They had their vote on whether or not they were going to go through with their merger, and I want to go through the results of that vote, and I want to talk about valuation of the company. So the first thing I want to show you is this is actually Greenwich Generation's website. This page says Bitcoin Miner, Greenwich Generation Holdings Inc., and Support.com Inc. announced merger agreement. This was March 22nd, 2021. Support.com stockholders voted yes to this merger so this merger is a go so you'll see this press release support.com stockholders approve merger with greenage generation holdings inc so that was september 10th at 11 30 a.m i want to read a little bit through the proposed merger agreement to give you some of the facts behind uh greenage generation holding so here's some bullet points summarizing their operations, who they are, and what they do. Greenidge expects to achieve calendar year 2021 earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization in excess of $50 million. So essentially that's operating income of $50 million and then a run rate in excess of $160 million by the fourth quarter of 2022, which is a little over a year from now. So we want to remember these numbers. They're going to be important later when we're doing our comparisons. So they're looking to make, you know, earn from operations about $50 million this year. Next bullet point, hash rate of 1.1 exahash per second, which is expected to grow to 2.6 exahash per second in 2022. Another bullet point, support.com is expected to provide Greenage with an estimated $33 million of additional cash. Pro forma for the merger, the combined companies currently have over $70 million in net cash. So that's their cash position. That's kind of the goes to strength of balance sheet. Next bullet point, very important. Upon completion of merger, support.com stockholders and options holders will collectively own approximately 8% of the combined company's common stock. And Greenage stockholders will own approximately 92%. So I want to take a quick time out and go to the actual numbers. So this is the actual prospectus for the merger. The aggregate consideration payable to holders of shares of support.com stock will represent approximately 7.7% of the outstanding capital. So that's very important when we go to do our calculations later. Then lastly, they say the merger is expected to close in Q3 of 2021. Well, we're in Q3 of 2021. They just approved the merger. So, you know, they may miss by a little, but that's that sounds just about right. Okay, so I want to focus on the following schedule that I put together today. So this is based on some intraday numbers because I was making this during trading hours today. So, you know, these are rough approximations. You'll see on the top, this is not financial advice. These amounts are all estimates and projections. A lot of these are my own projections and assumptions. As an aside, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. So I'm going to explain them. You can take them for what they're worth. And so let's get into the numbers. If we go back and look at support.com, you will see they have a market cap of $508.996 million after being down 19.29%. So let's go back to the chart. If we take that $508,996,000, that represents 7.7% of the equity in the new company that they're going to merge with. So we need to divide that by 7.7% in order to get the market cap or the estimated market cap of the new company if it were to merge on the price that the stock closed at today. So if we do that, we come up with a number of 6610337662 dollars That is a very big number. To put it in perspective, what I have done is put together a list of the seven largest Bitcoin mining companies on the NASDAQ. So what, what I want to do is just run through those market caps versus what Greenage market cap would be if it closed today. 
they've got a market cap of $6.6 billion. Now remember, they had one exahash of mining power, and they were hoping to get that up to 2.6 exahash by the end of next year. So if we look at the largest Bitcoin mining market company, on the NASDAQ right now, that it would currently be Marathon. Greenage would be, if it closed today, 1.83 times larger than the largest Bitcoin mining company on the entire NASDAQ. So to compare some apples to apples, Marathon is operating right now at just over two exahash per second, and they have already purchased machines to get themselves up to 13.3 exahash per second, by the end of the year 2022. Now remember Greenidge is at one exahash per second and they're looking to get to 2.6 exahash per second. So you can see that Marathon is many, many multiples larger than Greenidge. Uh, in addition to that, they also have almost 6,000 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So their balance sheet is considerably stronger. Their mining operations are considerably larger all things being equal they should make dramatically more money than greenage next year i'm not arguing against the company greenage all i'm doing is comparing its current valuation and by the way its valuation has been run up astronomically through these squeezes recently and that valuation has left it what looks to be extremely overvalued so we just went through and saw at Today's price, it would be 1.83 times larger than the largest mining company in the entire NASDAQ, and that company is a multitude larger than Greenidge is. I'm going to skip down a little bit and go to, uh, there's two that I would focus on, Hut and Bitfarms. Those two companies, in my opinion, are very similar. Uh, they have similar current hash rates. They're both just under one and a half. I think they're at 1.3 and 1.4 exahash, respectively. They both have purchased machines to get them somewhere between six to eight exahash by mid to late 2022. So again, both of these companies are actually quite a bit bigger than Greenage. So those are the two closest companies that I can find actually on this list to compare apples to apples. Although I think we can see that even on the balance sheet side, uh, both of these guys have been saving all of the Bitcoin that they mined. So Hut, I think, has over 4,000 Bitcoin now on their balance sheet. And Bitfarms has over 2,000 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. We saw that the combined new entity of Greenage is going to have about $70 million in cash. So both Hut8 and Bitfarms have significantly more in cash and cash equivalents than that. Uh, so... Again, that goes to the balance sheet. So I think both of these companies, stronger balance sheets, they're going to have stronger income statements. If everything goes as planned, they'll both probably make quite a bit more money than Greenage. So Greenage right now is valued at 4.68 times the value of Hut and over 7 times the value of Bitfarms. You can see this valuation is wildly out of line with the entire Bitcoin mining industry. The question is, what does that mean? We all know that the stock market doesn't always make sense and just running through the numbers doesn't mean that that's exactly what the market is gonna do. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if or when these stocks will correct towards a, a more fair market value price. This is the math behind it. If we were to adjust Greenage down to a fair market value that is somewhere in line with its peers, you would have to take the current share price of $21, and in the case of HUT, divide it by 4.68. This would be to assume that they are equal, in my opinion, um, and, and from a fact standpoint, HUT is actually a larger company, but let's just assume they're even. That would bring a price target down for $4.49 from the current $21. If you were to do the same analysis for Bitfarms, which is currently valued at $923 million, that would be a projected adjusted stock price of $2.93. So somewhere between $3 and $4.50. And that would be to assume that Greenage and Bitfarm are the same size, which again, they are not. Bitfarms is actually a larger company 
with more hash rate and more planned hash rate than Greenidge has. So we're looking at $3 to $4.50. That represents anywhere from a 79 to 86% decrease from their current price valuation. Now I wanna reiterate, that doesn't mean that's gonna happen. We know that all these things don't run just straight up on the math. So there's a lot of different variables that can affect that. It may hold some extra value in addition to that. I'm not, I'm not saying this automatically means they're gonna drop 86%. But what I am saying is that if you look at this analysis, all indications are Greenidge is wildly overvalued. And you know, you guys have to use your own judgment to figure out how much of a pullback should you expect based on this calculation that we just ran through. These are the numbers, so take them for what they're worth and do with them what you will. I wanna take a quick look at the chart and then we're just gonna wrap this up. So support closed the day at $21, like we talked about. You know, that was a pullback from the high of yesterday to today of almost 24%. So big pullback in the last day. This is March 22nd. This is the day that the potential merger was announced. So if you go prior to that announcement, it fluctuates between one and $2. So support.com on its own held a valuation of between one to $2 per share. And that was consistent over a very long period of time. They announced a merger. I'm gonna to go to kind of an average point and you will see that it settled at about $4.56. So a little more than double the value. So that was its value before there started to be squeezes on this stock. So I'm just gonna go back here and close out. You'll see the valuation at HUT 8 was $4.49, and this was $2.93. So those things seem to jive. And if you even wanna give it the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, maybe it's an eight or $10 stock. You know, you guys need to decide for yourself. I think this stock has a lot of downside ahead, but I don't rule out the possibility that there will be another successful squeeze we just saw they've done it four times. So that's all the information I have on support. Uh, I hope that that helps. And thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.